Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I am just going to make a lot of wax seals and I'm actually going to show a couple of different ways to make them. So I um, have my, I did order three of the seal stamps from Spellbinders, but these um, kits that I have, the wax seal uh, stand and the spoons, those I purchased separately. Spellbinders does have a really nice starter kit and I believe the seal design that comes in the starter, starter kit can only be purchased through um, that starter kit bundle, so it is exclusive. But what I am waiting on is actually I did order um, a few more spoons because this is how I like to actually make my seals. I, I like to have two burners going. It's just little votive candles. And I like to um, do a little bit of a staggered start so that um, <laughs> I get one of them going. And then while I let the other one um, uh, kind of start it on a little bit of a delay, that way by the time the first one's done and I can pour it, then um, hopefully it's not too long of a wait before I can start in on um, the next spoon. And what I found is that different waxes, I think, probably have different melting um, points because the red wax that you see, that one I actually purchased from Spellbinders. The gold ones that I'm working on the right um, burner right now. That one I purchased on Amazon and the spoon that came with the holder on the left, it's it's kind of, it's really deep. So um, I got a lot of soot from the votive candle that was accumulating on the bottom. It doesn't hurt anything except that it can create a little bit of a mess, um, all of that soot and ash. So that's why I, I bought replacement spoons, not only to have more so that I can actually load up different colors in different spoons and get them going, um, but also to replace that one on the left because um, the new set that I bought, it's it's a little bit more shallow, the um, depth of the spoon. But this is why it's really nice to have a lot of seals, a lot of wax, multiple um, holders, multiple spoons. You can get a lot of wax seals made and in not a lot of time too. And that way you can kind of leave the seal on top of your wax to set and not be in a rush to actually pull those off. It doesn't take incredibly long for it to um, fully set, but it's just nice you know, to be able to make so many in such a short amount of time. And, um, and like I mentioned, the, the only reason why I want multiple spoons is so that I can actually be loading up different colors and then I don't have to kind of clean my spoon, you know, in between, or at least I have a little bit more time. What I'm doing on the left one, though, is I'm slowly transitioning um, between uh, the red that was in there to some more pinks and then gradually pinks and purples. And so that's another way to, to work as well. I do like to um, mix colors. And the other thing is, that if you're not if you're not cleaning in between each time you pour out the, your wax, I find that on an empty spoon, it's it's nice to start off with four of those wax um, kind of pellets. But on subsequent pours, you could get away with just using three. And I accidentally dropped. Um, <laughs> Accidentally dropped a wax pellet. You can see the gold one that's in there. Um, it wasn't a big deal. I was able to pull that out. No problem. It's all wax anyways. So that's one way of making your wax seals. Now, if you don't have that full setup with the votive candle, the holder, the spoon, 
but um, and you're not too sure if you want to invest in all of that, you could just pick up a wax seal stamp or two and then just use your hot glue gun as it turns out. So I'm just using this is actual a glue stick um, through my glue gun and I just pushed my wax seal right into that hot glue and it it worked and it peels off it not it doesn't release quite as easily as the wax does but it doesn't harm it doesn't at least appear to harm the wax seal because that's brass and so you can just make your little puddles of um, glue and then drop your seal right on top of it just as if you had poured out some wax and it can be a little bit tough to know how much is enough but um, but it's kind of fun to, to actually do this and you'll see in a moment uh, what I do with these um, after I've made them. I'm not going to actually make any any uh, cards or any projects. I just wanted to show a lot of different things that you can be doing with your wax uh, seals. And some of my hot glue sticks are a little bit yellow. And this one seems a little bit more clear. But what I've just started loading in um, is actually a wax stick. So I'm just working through all of my glue. And you'll see in a moment, it's going to start getting opaque and uh, a little bit light blue. That's actually wax in that's been designed so that it's uh, in these sticks that are meant to um, be used th through your hot glue gun. So I um, I'm going to kind of clear the deck of all of my hot glue seals, not quite wax seals. And you can see on this one, I'm struggling a little bit to, to release it, but um, it's not like it harms your uh, wax uh, seal stamp, but it's just that it, for whatever reason, just some of them release a little bit easier than others. But this set here, this I think is kind of cool. I didn't realize that this product existed until just recently and I I ordered um I ordered a bunch in a color uh, that I thought I would love because blue is my favorite color um, but I might actually go back onto Amazon and, and look for maybe a variety pack um, and I know that you can buy hot glue sticks in a variety of different colors. You can even get like glitter glue sticks and, and things like that too. I just only happen to have clear but you might want to try this with um, your hot glue sticks that are, if you do have ones in multiple colors, you might want to try it in that as well. But I do find that the um, the actual, the wax, uh, the ones that are made of wax, those do actually um, release a little bit more easily. And... I always, I always make my wax seals on this uh, silicone mat. I never do it directly on a project, mostly because I often like to kind of audition different wax seal colors, designs on my projects, and so I'm never confident enough to just go straight onto my project. Um, and so it's it's just nice to have a bunch of these made up and then you can um, have a bunch to pick and choose from when you're making a project. And I'll be showing a lot of different projects uh, where I've incorporated some wax seals. So, um, so be on the lookout now that I've made uh, another batch of them. I uh, will definitely be showing them on different projects. These are just as bendy and flexible as um, wax seals. I know that was one question that I had, uh, whether or not these wax seals were brittle like they used to be uh, back in the day. And they're not. They're bendy. And I think they'll hold up um, if, you, if you had to ship them through the mail, for example. So just to continue on here, I just want to show with the glue um, 
variety of quote wax seals. I am I pulled out some of my Nouveau embellishment mousse and I'm just um smearing the mousse right over the wax seal. Now on this first one I did test it out on one um stamp that that I didn't totally love just to just to see how it looks. And I wasn't too happy with it. And the reason is because I put some of the embellishment mousse on the top where the design is. And I don't think it looks very good because you start to lose definition of the design of the seal. So then I decided, let me only put this um, Nouveau mousse on the back and see how that looks and whether the the color comes through well enough. And for sure, I like this better. It's, it's definitely a different look because the glue itself is translucent. So it's a little bit harder to actually see the design, but it does, it does have the end result of, um, of coloring your your seal um and so i definitely think that that this would be my preferred way of of coloring um clear you know glue sticks and it's it's interesting it definitely it definitely um gives more design opportunity because if you are for example using a Nuvo product somewhere else maybe you've made um, a stenciled background using some of your Nuvo products then you can actually create a wax seal and color it to match you know perfectly so that's definitely something that I think is is kind of cool because I have a lot of Nuvo products, um, and then this way I don't necessarily have to buy wax in in a huge variety of colors. Now I did try once again to um, apply the Nuvo product on the top as well as the bottom, but with this one I watered it down some to see if maybe having that thinner consistency um, helps to preserve the details of the design and it does a little bit so it's just one of those things that you you kind of have to be willing to get a little bit dirty and and just play with it a bit now these are the wax seals actual wax seals and I thought I would uh, have a little bit of play with these too so another thing that spellbinders sells um, again my products are, are not from spellbinders because I, I already had all of this um, but you can get um, these sort of glitter pens, you could use something like your, um, probably you could use Posca pens, you could use, uh, acrylic paint pens, whatever you like. Um, these metallic ones are nice because they have a little bit of that sort of metallic finish. And you can just sort of gently, gently, um, kind of, uh, brush over your seal design to give just a little bit of um, a highlight to to the design. And I pulled out some of my, this is um, some Cosmic Shimmer. And again, I'm just using um, a, well, here I'm using a little sponge um, just to gently graze the surface, the top surface of the design. And that just, you can see right away, it just brings that design to life a little bit and you get a little bit of that contrast and um, and that way uh, it kind of highlights it and, and makes it all just like a little bit more visible. So you want to be gentle with this. You don't want to um, uh, push too far in because again you might lose start to lose some of that detail and so that it's one of the things that you know might take just a little bit of practice to um to get the pressure just right but it's it's really fun to do so there's lots of ways that you can just kind of um you know finish your wax seals and give them a slightly different look and so here I'm just bending the this is the spellbinders wax bends really well um, this is the 
uh, the gold is from Amazon. The other colors are from that big kit. So they're all very flexible and, and all really easy to use. So one idea that I will share, though not strictly a project per se, is I've got this roll of um, five inch wide tape. I use this a lot in my mini album. And what I'll do is I'm just putting another piece of tape um, liner to the back of that. So now I've got basically a, a kind of a wide um, double sided adhesive uh, tape wide enough to accommodate my three quarters of an inch um, punch here. And I'm just gonna punch out a bunch of these um, basically just little stickers, <laughs> the double-sided stickers, and I'm gonna stick it to the back of my wax seals. And one thing that you can do is actually give these away as a gift. Maybe make a set of cards, a set of little note cards, or maybe a set of cards for different occasions throughout the year, and then include with that a set of wax seals. And I think that makes for a really nice little gift because you um, are not only giving the note cards or, you know, uh, handmade cards, but also these little seals that they can seal their envelope with. And it's just peel and stick for them so that they don't have to do anything special to, um, to attach it onto their envelopes. So here is a final look at some of the different seals. So really fun to make these in um, multicolors, in all the same colors. I love the do not open until the 25th. So it's a really fun Christmas one that I got from Spellbinders. I got a nice um, birthday one from Spellbinders too. And also just a general floral, which it can be great for every day. These ones are the ones made from glue, so not wax at all. And you can see you get a lot of definition. You get all the same definition, but it's because it's clear at the top and it's only colored from the bottom that it looks a little bit, um, it just gives you a very different look. This one was my um, transition from hot glue to the wax uh, sticks, which I have to say super convenient because it's fast. You just feed the sticks through your hot glue gun and just um, uh, with the pull of a trigger, you can just, um, you know, uh, pull or squeeze out as much as you feel like you need for each um, seal. So really, really cool. And you don't have to deal with the candle, the extra um, supplies <laughs> with the spoon. I, I still like pouring, but it, it is really, really nice to have the option of using the hot glue gun with actual wax sticks. So here's um, a comparison of all of them. They all work just fine and they're all flexible and I think they'll all go through the mail really well. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing. If you're already one of my subscribers, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel and ringing that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post new videos to my channel. Thanks again. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.